Hello everybody, I'm just going to remind you of the method we used in school for multiplication. So the first question is 23 times 4. So we're looking to find the answer to 4 lots of 23. We always start with a number we're multiplying by, which is 4. And we're going to go 4 times 3 is 12. So we put the 1 into the 10s column and the 2 into the 1s column. 12 is made up of 1 10 and 2 1s. And then we do 4 times 2 is 8. We add on the 1 underneath and that brings it to 9. So the answer to 23 times 4 is 92. Now I'm going to show you another example. This example has slightly bigger numbers. We've got the hundreds column here as well, but it works in exactly the same way. So 3 times 6 is 18. We put the 1 again into the tens column, the 8 into the ones column. Then we do 3 times 2 is 6. Remember to add on the 1, which makes 7. And then we've got to multiply to the hundreds column, so 3 times 1 is 3. So that's easy, it just goes into the hundreds column. So the answer to 126 times 3 is 378. Just one more example. So I'll just move my camera down a bit. So now we have got 236 times 3. So again, we're multiplying by 3. So we say 3 times 6 is 18. And then 3 times 3 is 9. Now when we add on the 1, that brings it to 10. So we're going to have to carry again. 1 will go into the hundreds column and the 0 will go into the tens column. So you can see you've written 10 there. 1, 0. And then the last thing we have to do is we have to multiply the hundreds column. So 3 times 2 is 6. Add on the 1 gives you 7. So the answer so 236 times 3 is 708. I hope that makes it a bit clearer for you.